Hi, welcome to my video. This is a recipe for rongi or lobia, which are black-eyed peas. This isn't a curry that I grew up eating, but I've been making it for about three or four years and I like it because it's light and fragrant, plus it's very healthy. So you're going to need one cup of dried black-eyed peas, one large tomato, chopped, one medium onion, two cloves of garlic, and a one inch piece of ginger, all finely chopped, one and a half cups of water, two teaspoons of whole cumin, two teaspoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, one bay leaf, two teaspoons of canola oil or any other vegetable oil, of course salt according to your taste, and finally some coriander for garnish. First you need to wash the peas and soak them for one hour. Luckily these don't require six to eight hours of soaking like most other pulses. Then strain the peas and get out your pressure cooker. Start by heating the oil on medium high and add the whole cumin seeds to the hot oil. An easy way to check the temperature is to drop a few pieces of cumin and if they crackle then you're good to go. Then add the bay leaf followed by the onions, garlic, ginger and then the chopped tomatoes. You can give that a stir to make sure that everything is thoroughly combined. Then add the rest of the dried spices followed by some salt. Now add the rongi followed by the water. I think that one and a half cups is enough for me but you can always play around with that amount depending on your preference. Give everything a final stir to make sure that the ingredients are thoroughly combined and close up the cooker. Allow the rongi to steam for two whistles then turn down the heat and let it simmer for eight to ten minutes. After that, you can garnish this with some fresh coriander and serve it with either rice or any type of roti. This recipe will serve three to four people. Here are some variations. You can certainly make this without a pressure cooker and using canned peas. You should wash and drain them properly, then prepare the curry in the same way. Bring it up to a boil in your regular pot, then reduce the heat and simmer it while covered for eight to ten minutes. If you need an extra kick, then you can always add fresh green chili peppers to this recipe. And if you prefer a smoother gravy, then puree the tomato and onion. Please check out my blog at www.anilamaharaj.com and stay tuned by subscribing. That way you never miss a recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!